Saints fans. I am Todd Graffinini. This is John DeShazer. It is day nine of New Orleans Saints training camp. It is the New Orleans Saints training camp report right here on CST, presented by SeatGeek. JD, all the goodwill weather-wise we had earlier in the week has left us today without question the most warm, hot, whatever you have, humid. It was brutal out there today, and the players really had to fight through it. You know, periodically I'll talk about a defender and say he got cooked when an offensive guy will beat him. You know, today the sun beat me. I'm cooked. Um, it really was a brutal day. Players made it through it, thank yeah. goodness. They pushed through. Uh, you didn't see any hydration issues, I don't believe. Uh, but for the most part, man, it was cooking today. Yeah, I was out there baking like lasagna. Uh, gladly, I was not wearing pads. Okay, speaking of that, the players were in pads today. JD, interesting little, maybe a shift from head coach Sean Payton because originally it was supposed to be a helmets and shorts day. Yeah, might have been one of those things where he wanted to see where his team was mentally, uh, see where it was physically in terms of pushing through with those pads. Again, not tackle, but still you're carrying around that extra weight, and so that's an extra burden for the players. I think he believes they fought through it pretty well. All right, here's head coach Sean Payton after practice talking about getting through today and the installs that were given offensively. It was a red zone install for the first time. I thought defensively we did a lot of, I, look, I thought uh, the enthusiasm and the energy on that side of the ball was good. I mean, we'll look at the tape, but um, not as good offensively. Guys, are you're fighting through the installation. You've got to be able to you know, quickly pick up what we're doing, and then on Monday we'll, we'll use the same, uh, the same area of emphasis relative to the red zone, tight red zone. Well, J.D., back at practice today was tight end Nick Vanette, who had missed the last couple days due to flu. He didn't know what hit him, literally, and he talked about it after practice today. After Wednesday's practice, like, I just, I felt like I just got hit by a train. I'm like, man, you know, I knew it was a hard practice, but I didn't think that I would feel, my body would feel like that already after, what, four or five practices. So, I saw I was dehydrated, so I just got an IV. Um, you know, I, I drank some fluids, and then I felt a little better. Then the next morning, I just, I couldn't get out of bed. So I knew something was up. Um, came here, tested COVID, negative. They took me to the hospital, and then that's when we found out that I had the flu. JD, a couple of transactions to report after today's practice. The Saints signed tight end Josh Peterson, the way son of former Eagles head coach Doug Peterson, now in the Saints organization. And defensive end Ryan Glasgow retired. Interesting, we heard that today. Uh, Sean Payton mentioned that uh, Glasgow just went into his office and said, I want to go back to school. You know, sometimes it's best when you know you've had enough, and clearly Ryan Glasgow has had enough. Um, you know, much luck to him, much success to him. Uh, and the Saints were a little bit light at tight end, to be honest yep. with you. So to get Peterson in, uh, to bevy out and, and hopefully fill out that position because the starters, you know, the, the, the high end guys, were getting a lot of reps. And yeah, you want a lot of reps, but training camp has been brutal when you're talking about the amount of guys getting those reps when you shorten the numbers. So you add Peterson in, you take some of that burden off Nick Vanette and some of that burden off Adam Troutman and some of that burden off Juwan Johnson. And you allow somebody new to come in and get some of those reps. And again, best of luck to Ryan Glasgow. Yep. And that was a one for one roster swap. So no new changes there. When we return, New Orleans Saints training camp report right here on CST. My partner, John DeShazer, with an exclusive interview with Saint Safety, Marcus Williams. All that more coming up on the show. It is the New Orleans Saints training camp report on CST, presented by SeatGeek. And we're back at the New Orleans Saints training camp report with Safety, Marcus Williams. And Marcus, now I'm reluctant to call anybody a liar. You listed at 192 in the program. You look a lot sturdier than that. <laughs> and a good sturdy. Are you heavier than that? And, and, and what was the process with that? Man, I've been 210 for the last three years. <laughs> I'm just saying. That program wrong. It's been wrong for the last two years. I'm 210. Um, I mean, I, I love the weight that I'm at. I just, I mean, I still fly around and everything. I've never been 192, never, <laughs> since I've been here. I've always been 202 to 210, so uh, they need to change that. All right, change it, change it, change, change it. it. <laughs> now, um, with your job as, as a free safety and you're a guy who's around the ball a lot, is that instinctual for you? Because I know you play some receiver in high school, but your ball skills seem to be you know, on a fairly high level. Is that pretty instinctual for you? Right, it's pretty inst instinctual for me, but it's also being around the ball, it's all about film study, all about knowing where guys are at, where they're lined up, kind of put me in a better position, especially uh, 
what the plays that are called. I can put myself in better position knowing knowing where I'm supposed to be at, knowing where my range is, depending on where I'm at on the field. You know, can you chart your growth process as a Saint? You were a day one starter as a rookie. Here you are several years later, five years in. And can you just chart your growth? A lot of mental growth. Uh, just just coming in as a rookie, you 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 know you have to you have to catch up fast. You have to catch up to the guys who are already there. So as a rookie, I was spending a lot of time in the film room, and it just carries over year by year. You start knowing start knowing more, especially being on the field. You you get more reps. The more reps you get, you know, the better you are. So I get the more reps that I got, it just put me in better position to make plays. I, I pride myself on making plays each each year, and I just continue to get better, watching film and coming out on the field and trying new things to see where where I could get to. Just just, just so that I'm better each and every every year. But I just continue to ask questions, ask my peers questions, ask even the quarterbacks questions to see what I'm doing that they're picking up on so I can get better at that when I go out on the field against opponents. You've led this team in interceptions since you got here. Okay, what's better, the pick or the big hit? I'm, I like taking the ball away, <laughs> man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the ball. If, if the ball's in the air, that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to make a big hit, but – it's all about getting the ball back to our offense in, in all reality. It's, it's all about the ball in this game. And if I get a big hit and he fumbles, then I'm happy. But I'd rather get a, a pick over a hit. You know, how big of an emphasis is that this year? Because we've heard Cam Jordan, I think some other defenders say, you know what, we want to make sure we increase the takeaways this year. Takeaways, takeaways change the game. You know, the the more takeaways you get, could change the could change the game. So, we, we pride ourselves on getting takeaways. You know, the last last few years we we take the ball away. So, it, we just continue to to pride ourselves on that and continue to do it, work it in practice, so it transfers to the game. You know, how good can this defense be? We've seen stretches over the last three, four years where you guys have had, you know, four, five, six, seven games where you pretty much carried this team, uh, did everything you wanted to do defensively. How good can this defense be? We could be really good. We just have to take it day by day and just continue to get better, continue to watch film and continue to grow together. Um, the more we are around each other, the more we, you know, build that camaraderie, is the better off we'll be. How much are you mentoring the young guys? Because you're, you're now one of the vets back there, especially in this system. It's funny because I'm 24 and they're <laughs> almost the same age as me, but I, I, I think I have a lot of knowledge coming in, being here for this is my fifth year. Uh, I'm, I'm able to mentor them and give them any any tips and tricks that I know and just, just be there for them because they're, they're just here. And uh, when I came in, I had, I mean, I had Von Bell. So he, he you know, he kind of mentored me a little bit. So now I can mentor them, give it back to them. Okay, now you, are you giving these guys a hard time when they drop a pick in practice? Of course. Because that's, that's not your thing. You you come up with the ball. Right. Uh, I'm giving everybody a hard time. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's Malcolm Jenkins, uh, to Marshawn. We, we, all, we all take care of each other. We all you know, hold each other accountable. That's that's why we that's why we can continue to get better. Okay, now I gotta get to the real stuff. How many do rags? How many? I probably got twenty five do rags. I don't know. Trade them in, trade them out, throw some away. How do you choose which one you're gonna wear? Man, I just go in the cabinet and grab one. That's how I get them. You don't just say, you know what, I want to match up today. I feel I feel Some, sometimes I color coordinate, but most of the time <laughs> I just grab one depending on, you know, what what day it is. All right, folks, that's Marcus Williams, a different do-rag for a different day. I'm John DeShazer for the Saints Training Camp Report here on CST, and we'll be back in a moment. Final segment of the New Orleans Saints Training Camp Report right here on CST. J.D., linebacker Chase Hansen might have had the hit of training camp so far in the first nine practices. Stevie Scott during red zone running back Stevie Scott was trying to pass protect. Chase Hansen had other ideas completely blew up Scott yeah thud drills but Chase Hansen came in hot man he came in really <laughs> hot and Stevie Scott caught the worst of it unfortunately and Chase Hansen's a guy who's been around here high energy guy uh, but man he really came in hot on that one yeah, here's Hansen talking about that collision with he and Stevie Scott is that Stevie? I didn't, I didn't know who it was. I didn't apologize to Stevie. Not yet. <laughs> well my thing is I thought it was runs while I came up so hot and then he just ended up not having the ball. But sometimes it works out like that, so. Also found it very interesting as well, JD, as Hanson addressed the media, about how he wants to change his style at linebacker, trying to adapt a more DeMario Davis type than what he had been doing in the past, which is just trying to run through guys. Yeah, and it really goes back to his injury situation. He's been injured, yep. and he finds DeMario Davis's playing style a little bit more averse to getting injured, mm -hmm. so hopefully he can adapt to it. Yeah, very insightful comments here from Chase Hansen. Let's hear it. Injuries have been a thing for me, and it's just every single offseason, every single season, it's just about staying healthy. Um, I feel like you know, I came here, they give me opportunities, 
I just got to stay healthy. So ideally, you know, being in a room with guys like Demario, guys like Craig Robertson last year, being you know around guys like Quan, I'm learning a lot. And Coach Hodges is doing a great job of teaching me. It's just I got to be out there. Well, linebacker Caden Ellis now in his third season with the New Orleans Saints, and the opportunity is there for Cade not only to make a roster, but to have an impact, playing alongside guys like Demario Davis and Quan Alexander. Here's Cade Nellis on that opportunity. A lot of guys that have been here, from guys like AJ, Kiko, Alex, Demario, I mean, the list goes on, Quan now, um, and then getting to learn from Nolan and now Coach Hodges these past two years, it's, it's been a, an absolute blessing. Um, and I feel like I'm taking strides. I feel like I'm feeling a lot better. I'm starting to understand it more. Uh, and it's great to start feeling that. Um, it's, uh, it's just a blessing to be able to work with and under these guys. Well, that's all the time we have for edition number nine of the New Orleans Saints training camp report right here on CST. John DeShazer, my friend, day off tomorrow. It is Sunday, divine intervention. We'll be back on Monday, but thank goodness we need the break, folks. Yes, we <laughs> do, but we'll be back here on Monday for yet another edition of the New Orleans Saints Training Camp Report right here on CST. I'm Todd Graffinini. That's John DeShazer. We'll see you Monday on CST.